She looks too pretty. Try to catch her. So I'm guessing you're wondering what that has to do with the carpal bones. Well, I'll tell you. It's a mnemonic. A what? It's a trick to help you memorize something. She looks too pretty. Try to catch her. The beginning letter of each of these words corresponds with the beginning letter of each of the eight carpal bones in anatomical order according to how they sit in the wrist. Let's take a closer look. This is what the order of the bones look like. She looks too pretty is the first row of the mnemonic. Try to catch her is the second row of the mnemonic. Okay, say it with me this time. She looks too pretty. Try to catch her. Yes, sir. Let's visualize how these bones actually look in a real hand. So now that we have the mnemonic down, let's take a closer look at the names of the bones. Scaphoid. Lunate. Triquitrum. Try saying that three times fast. Pisiform. Trapezium. Trapezoid. Capitate. Hamate. This one actually looks kind of like a hammer. Let's put it all together now. The order of the bones, the mnemonic, and the name of the bones. Scaphoid. Lunate. Triquitrum. Pisiform. Trapezium. Trapezoid. Capitate. Hamate. As you may have noticed, out of the eight carpal bones, three of those bones started with the letter T. Trapezium, trapezoid, and triquitrum. I'm going to show you a way to help you memorize and differentiate these three bones. All right, so let's start with the bone that's by itself, triquitrum. So the way that I remember this is that triquitrum is the third bone in the mnemonic. She looks too. It also has the word tri in the name, triquitrum, and tri equals three. Now that we got triquitrum out of the way, let's take a look at the other two bones. Trapezium and trapezoid. The way that I remember this is that trapezium is the bigger of the two bones, and it has four syllables, where trapezoid is the smaller of the two bones and only has three syllables. All right, question one. Which hand are we looking at? Left palm. You got it. This is important when doing the mnemonic. Question two. Which bone does the mnemonic start with? Scaphoid. You got it. Question number three. Which bone does the mnemonic end with? Hamate. You got it. Question number four. How many carpal bones are there? So if you're still here and you've learned something today, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I appreciate you. Eight carpal bones. You got it. Question number five. Out of the eight carpal bones, there were three that started with the letter T. Out of those three, which one is the third bone in the mnemonic? Triquitrum. You got it. Remember, tri is three.